हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू मई चानल मुकांबिका नर्सिंग फ्रेंड्स यो वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर इ एस आई सी नर्सिंग ऑफिसर एक्साम प्रिपरेशन एंड द एक्साम इज ऑन सेवेंथ जुलाई टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन सी ए रैपिड रिविशन क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन विथ आंसर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी कैन सी मोस्ट इफेक्टिव एंडी ट्यूबरकुल ड्रग इज आंसर एरेफाबेसिन and the most effective bactericidal anti tubercular drug is also rifampicin and the next question anti tubercular drug causes red orange colored body secretions for example urine color is orange color of urine is due to rifampicin and the next question anti tubercular drug causes rapid sputum conversion is rifampicin rifampicin is most effective drug so rapid sputum conversion occurs in rifampicin taking rifampicin and the next question anti tubercular drug contraindicated in aids patient on protease inhibitor question is anti tubercular drug contraindicated in aids patient on protease inhibitor is rifampicin and the next question most toxic anti tubercular drug is isoniazid and the next question anti tubercular drug which causes vitamin b6 deficiency is isoniazid vitamin b6 is pyridoxine so if the patient is taking isoniazid means we have to administer pyridoxine mainly to reduce the risk of neurotoxicity and the next question anti tubercular drug contraindicated in hiv is thiazetazone in the previous question we discuss anti tubercular drug contraindicated aids patient on protease inhibitor was rifampicin here it is purely contraindicated in hiv is thiazetazone and the next question injectable anti tubercular drug is streptomycin and streptomycin is a second line agent that is second line anti tubercular drug and is coming in category 2 and anti tubercular drug contraindicated in children less than 6 years of age is ethambutol usually this ethambutol is contraindicated in children younger than 13 years and also it is contraindicated with hypersensitivity or optic neuritis here question contraindicated in children less than 6 years okay usually it is not given up to the age of 13 years and the next question anti tubercular drug causes optic neuritis or red green color blindness is ethambutol and the next question anti tubercular drug causes vestibular damage is streptomycin so optic neuritis or red green color blindness is due to ethambutol and uh, vestibular damage occurs with the consumption of streptomycin it is an important important point next one important point first line medications for tuberculosis there are first line anti tubercular drug is there and second line anti tubercular drug is there in this first line medications include isoniazid erifambicin ethambutol paracetamol erifambutin and erifapendin all are included in first line medications and second line medications include thiazetazone amikacin capriomycin cyclosporin ethionamide canamycin levofloxacin para amino salicylic acid streptomycin inisolid oxafloxacin this all included in second line medication and bacteriostatic and bactericidal drugs are there in this bactericidal and the tubercular drugs include isoniazid erifambicin streptomycin pyrazinamide ciprofloxacin ofloxacin canamycin these all drugs are bactericidal drugs and the tubercular drug and bacteriostatic and the tubercular drugs include ethambutol thiazetazone cyclosporin para amino salicylic acid ethionamide these all are bacteriostatic and the tubercular drug and the next question anthracosis is caused by coal dust and anthracosis is also known as black lung disease so anthracosis is occurs due to intake of coal dust it is also known as black lung disease and silicosis is caused by silica dust and asbestosis is caused by asbestos dust 
and the next question bagasosis is caused by sugar cane dust this is an important question bagasosis is caused by sugar cane dust and biasinosis is caused by cotton dust biasinosis is also known as monday fever or brown lung disease black lung disease is anthracosis brown lung disease is biasinosis very important point and the next question farmer's lung is caused by hay or grain dust so farmer's lung is by grain dust or hay dust and tin dust caused by stenosis and plumbism is caused by lead poisoning important point plumbism occurs due to lead poisoning and the next question confirmative diagnostic test for swine flu is rt pcr and the drug of choice for swan flu is oseltamir 75 mg it is also known as tamiflu tamiflu or oseltamivir 75 mg it is the drug of choice for swan flu swan flu is caused by h1n1 virus and the incubation period of this disease is 1 to 4 days and the next question color code of oxygen cylinder is white top and black body and the next question color code of nitrous oxide cylinder is light blue and the color code of carbon dioxide cylinder is gray color and the color code of helium cylinder is brown and the next question color code of nitrogen cylinder is black color and the color code of suctioning is yellow and the next important question rose position is used in during the time of tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy the position used in tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy is rose position this was one of the previous year question and the next question jack knife position is used for surgery of coccyx and rectal area this also one of the previous year question jack knife position is used in surgery for coccyx and rectal area and the next question Lloyd Davis position is used for right lower abdomen lap ligation usually laparotomy lower abdomen surgery is right lower abdomen surgery is handled using Lloyd Davis position and the next question sniff position is used during the time of intubation sniff position and the next question lumbar puncture position during the time of procedure side lying or c shaped position and after procedure supine position and the next question question position for cleft lip is supine position to prevent pressure on the suture line okay position in cleft lip is supine position to prevent pressure on the suture line and position in cleft palate is prone position it is mainly to prevent aspiration of the content so cleft palate prone position and cleft lip supine position if the baby is having both cleft lip and cleft palate then we have to give supine or propped up on side to prevent rubbing of the lip on the sheet okay in case of both cleft lip and cleft palate surgery and the next question father of public health is who is the father of public health is cholera and the next question the time gap between infection and maximum infectivity is known as generation time that is once the organism entering the body that is time gap between infection and maximum infectivity is known as generation time and the next question gonds for say is seen in which disease it is in tb and mandos test is the skin test used for tb tuberculosis and most common complication of tracheostomy is laryngeal nerve damage another important point regarding tb white plague is also known as tb and barometer of social welfare is also tb and mandos test is used for tb gonds for say is seen in tb today we discuss some of the important question based on the question paper surely this will guide you for your exam preparation if it is useful please share my videos to your friend circle